Hi everybody. I thought we'd have a quick look at the nine times table today. There are several tricks you can play with it, so I'm going to show you three to help you remember them. So the first one is you may get within a test a question that says, here's a number, is that in the nine times table? And you might set it out like this and do a division. But there's a quicker way you can work it out. If you add the numbers up separately, so in this case you've got 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 3 is 9. If your answer is in the 9 times table, so 9, 18, 27, that means the number is divisible by 9. So you don't have to waste your time doing this. Let's have a look at the next one. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Again, that number adds up to 9, so it's within the 9 times table. And the last one, 4 add 5 is 9, 18, 27. Now we know this is in the 9 times table, but the other thing you can actually do is just add those two numbers together, if you're not sure, and they also equal 9. So we know this is in the 9 times table. So when we're actually writing the 9 times table out, so we're coming across a sum and we actually need to write it down, there's a quick way of doing that too. I start with zero and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And because it's a nine times table, we do two nines and then ten. And then next to it, I go nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, nine, eight, and so on. And you have wrote down the nine times table. My third trick is how to do it with your fingers. So if we have got nine times five, we count to our fifth finger, one, two, three, four, five, and we pop it down. We've got four fingers left there, five fingers left there, pop them together, 45. Nine times five is 45. So say we've got eight times nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pop that finger down, a bit tricky that one. And the answer is 72. Have a go. 